Merhaba, welcome to Zara Crafter with me Zara from Indonesia. So guys, in this video, I want to break the world stereotype of the Islamic world and Muslim about the Islam and Muslim people are so radical and we are not tolerant with other religion. So people with thoughts like that, you have to watch this video. Alright, let's start to react. How an Ottoman Sultan helped Ireland during the Great Famine. The Great, Great Famine, Famine in the mid-19th century was one of the most devastating events in Irish history. Between 1845 and 1852, potato blight hit the island's potato crop. The potato was a staple item of food in Ireland. A lack of good harvesting led to mass starvation, disease, and the deaths of nearly a million people. One of the unexpected sources of aid in this crisis was the Ottoman Caliphate. Sultan Abdul Majid I went out of his way to try to help so he could ease the suffering of the Irish people. Sultan Abdul Majid was only 23 years old in 1847 when he personally offered £10,000 in aid to Ireland, but he had already ruled the Caliphate for nearly 10 years. In that time, he earned the admiration of many of his own subjects and others around the world, but this time he would have to scale back his generosity. British diplomats advised him that it would be offensive for anyone to offer more than Queen Victoria, who had only donated £2,000. It was suggested that he should donate half of that amount, so he gave £1,000. The Sultan's donation was appreciated by the public in Britain and Ireland as well. One English religious journal published an article titled A Benevolent Sultan, in which the author wrote, For the first time, a Mohammedan sovereign, representing multitudinous Islamic populations, manifests spontaneously a warm sympathy with a Christian nation. May such sympathies in all the genial charities of a common humanity be cultivated and henceforth ever be maintained between the followers of the Crescent and the Cross. The press also blamed the British diplomats in Constantinople for rejecting the initial donation of £10,000 just to avoid embarrassing Queen Victoria. Meanwhile, Sultan Abdul Majid had found other ways to help. Today, the port town of Drogheda in Ireland includes a Crescent and a Star both of which are symbols of Islam in its coat of arms. Local tradition has it that these symbols were adopted after the Ottoman Empire secretly sent five ships loaded with food to the town in May 1847. The reason for the secrecy is that the British administration had allegedly tried to block the ships from entering Drogheda's harbour. Evidence that backs up these claims includes newspaper articles from the period and a letter from Irish notables explicitly thanking the Sultan for his help. The nationalist Irish Freeman's Journal celebrated these efforts. The conduct of Abdul Majid on the occasion referred to, the author wrote, was that of a good, humane and generous man. A believer in Mohammedanism, he acted in the true spirit of a follower of Christ and set an example which many professing Christians would do well to imitate. Though Abdul Majid probably hadn't expected any kind of returns on his aid to the Irish, some of them rallied to his side in 1854, just two years after the famine ended. Britain had become involved in the Crimean War to defend Ottoman territory against an expanding Russian Empire. In addition to Irish nurses and engineers, and some of the first war journalists in history, about 30,000 Irish soldiers served in the war. Despite the suffering that they and their families had endured during the Great Famine, they were noticed to be serving enthusiastically in defense of the territory of the Sultan who had helped them in their time of need. Mashallah. Mashallah, this story is so touching. So actually, Islam always teach us to do the all kindest things in the world. Wow, Mashallah, Sultan Abdul Majid really kind. He helped the Irish people, they are the majority of Christian. He was willing to reduce the paper to honor the queen. And also, he sent 
five ships to help the Irish people via the secret line. So Islam really teach us to do some kindness things no matter what the religion of the people that we help. So you have to know from this video that Islam is so tolerant and also kind. Wow, this history is really amazing and I want to know more about the other Ottoman Sultan's history. Alright guys, thanks for watching my video. Don't forget to like, comment and also subscribe. Okay, see you in the next video.